This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. This facility belongs to the city now, to Ryan Industries, at least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone, Lamb is gone, or close enough. I am alone at last, alone with my city. If any place needed a talented decorator, this would be it. This office is Don't closed! Speeding. All over my new dress. It's ruined. Stop! Good night. Live or dead? What's the difference? October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. Thank you. 
to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Thank you. 
I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses en masse. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Word to enter. Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Password to enter. I warned you. <clears throat> when you're down and around and life's a pain, where the man says heavy rain, a little boost is all you need. Average show to Hercules. Stronger on the shovel brain, that's why the future is haunted. <laughs> Access to d d d Please speak clearly. Automatic deactivation for 60 seconds. Oh, he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. I'm running it, goddamn parasite! This can't be right! Gotta change it up! Respect my wishes, will you? You've won a battle of wits with a home appliance! Welcome to the 30th of no, no, no return! Don't 
you dare touch that signal relay, Delta. Its value is ten times your own. I'm very disappointed in you, Delta. Destruction of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 I know what you're up to. You're after my job, aren't you? With your background? Ha! Do you know what class of person we chose for the Alpha series? Criminals, Delta. You'll be laughed out of the boardroom, out of the city! I think you're onto something, kid. Some kind of pirate relay doohickey keeping security under his spell. Find the rest of those and vandalize them directly. Use Scout to overcome enemies and hack security in complete safety. This is Eleanor Lamb speaking. It's been many years since my last diary. Mother found a way to rehabilitate me psychologically, but she can't remove this, this thing inside my body. I look in the mirror and I see a freak. I remember very little, just an artificial sense of peace 
had a compulsive hunger for Adam. Dr. Alexander is trying to help me adjust. He's responsible for part of my condition, but he wants to make amends. Adam, Daddy! Squeezes for spooky daddy. Right on his patience has gone for sir. Here's your treatment. Oh, my God. 
hide from me. <laughs> ah, no negotiation. Oh, oh, it's oh. mine. Oh, oh, you are weak. Ridiculous. here in search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? True friends stick by you through sick and sin. I suppose the smallest consideration. <laughs> Darling, take care of this for me. Oh, oh, some oh, got a scum. How about a scary throw, a little fire? Anyone in the plasmid business ultimately requires the use of human test subjects. It's our dirty little secret. And to be frank, Rapture doesn't really want to know, provided the end product is sound. The volunteers were scarce, even as the economy buckled. A man named Sinclair approached us with a seemingly limitless supply. He uh, rented them to us, bound and sedated. No questions asked. Just earned you a 
another slap on the nose, boy! Don't no squeeze us for spooky daddy! I'm not speaking to you! Bullshit! Horse shit! Let's
looks upon the world, saying, all of this is mine, and by force or guile, he makes it so. To the tyrant, the whole of creation is held in the relative, sun and moon revolve for him alone. For the tyrant, even justice is whimsy. He alone is fit to weigh, to measure, and to cut up. study to chart consciousness in all its strata. But intelligence does not require introspection. The son of Ryan was more effective than all his self-aware rivals. He lived without questions. I could end the self and save the world. on your side.
tyrant has no family, no friends, no country, only slaves chained in his wake. To his fellows, he asks, of what use are you to me? Those who love him are his subjects, for the tyrant accepts only worship or fear. Our hope was to bond a little sister to a single protector, so she had to be expendable in case of error. As we were fabricating a father bond, we couldn't really afford to have the girl's parents asking around. So, Fontaine's orphanages provided, and the procedure was an unprecedented success. If I had only known who the child was, Eleanor, I'm so sorry. Delta? 
Why, in the old days, our antiques never failed to amuse. Admittedly, this audience is lacking in joie de vie, but see if you can't liven them up. a fellow demonstrator, and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? Access 
granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where... where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. I was to be Sophia Lamb's greatest achievement, a living composite of all Rapture's genius in the body of a single man, unfettered by self-interest. Now, I am nothing more to her than a failed experiment. My scores on tests of intelligence and moral reasoning are still noteworthy, but declining sharply. She has abandoned me, and I do not have long before psychosis takes me.
As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Sophia believes the perfect human altruist is just a formula waiting on us to solve for X. Intelligence and consciousness are not the same, she argued. Awareness of self naturally becomes obsession with it. So, if we could suppress my sense of self, but imbue me with the cognitive capacity to serve the common welfare, we could thereby generate the first utopian. And then, Sophia said, at long last, utopia would follow. of the new utopian project. He will become a kind of genetic chimera, host to all the minds of rapture, accessing their talents and memories via the Adam we have gathered. And deriving in part from Project WYK, I have developed a new set of behavioral constraints. Dr. Alexander will live to promote the common good. His love and loyalty shall be spread evenly across the entire human race. For me, that is discipline at great personal cost. For him, at last, it will be instinct. Sophia and I knew 
that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds, a willing subject, that is to say, myself. Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it. Listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down, find those plants he mentioned, and lure him back out. the end of the Alpha series. The pair bond simply worked too well. That madwoman Tannenbaum bit the company hand, turning some of the bonded sisters human again. Others were lost to splices. Either way, the trauma proved too much for the bonded protectors, resulting in unreasoning rage or coma. We can harness their suicidal aggression as foot soldiers, but no more, I'm afraid. Today, I saw one kneeling near a gatherer's garden and crying. Have you running around the laboratories in your condition?
What a life, marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then, if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor, on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? Now. Are you yeah. watching you scoundrel? I'm telling the 
other girls that I have the best daddy. Purple! Swarms hide in expired enemies, awaiting further prey. Even the odds with a harder working decoy. Watch as it reflects damage back on distracted foes. A simple head on tent to share our view.
Mr. B. Don't make me carry you. They bound us together, Father. Plain God, you were the only good thing that Rapture ever gave me. My home. Oh, my home. How I long. Hello. She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. We found Adam, Daddy. What sort of sleeping angels? I do, I do.
him into some kind of living saint, who would calculate the common good and adhere to it tirelessly. But now he's become something unspeakable. Mother's philosophy is just as corrupt as Ryan's. By her standards, it would be better to have the entire world equally miserable than to allow us to strive in our own behalf. I have to get out of here. I know who you are, and you don't scare me! Time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. his will to die, Delta, to serve the majority 
by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library. sister through a new regimen of physical and mental conditioning and suited her up with modified protector equipment of my design. The younger ones have dubbed her a big sister. Sadly, this is a stopgap. Between rogue splices and the aging of the girls, we'll run out of viable little sisters soon. After that, the surface may be our only source. Yeah. 
a whispering father. They've left you a present at the Gatherer's Garden. Take it. Charge up to generate chain lightning. Explosive fire with a flick of your wrist. Charge up to blast bows with a fountain of flame.
how dare you try to buy me out with this, this bribe, this penance, this sublime... God damn you, Delta! <laughs> Perfect, son. You reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you would administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. You, you don't have to kill me, Delta. I'm sorry. Oh, please. I will go outside. I will live outside. Eleanor's condition may be a blessing in disguise. Early splicing tests indicate zero genetic damage due to her condition as a little sister. It appears that she is our new vessel. This will be no mere personality schism, though. Rapture's genius will be held within her DNA, able to shift into desired patterns at will. A utopian cannot be confined to a single throw of the genetic dice. When needed, she is a composer, a dancer, an engineer. She truly will be the people's daughter. Thank you.